Thank you for tuning in into my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journal, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Group and I'm glad you are here. Hey all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you tuned in again. So, what am I going to do for today? Well, uh, this video is also for the group Art Joy of Sharing, which is a Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to have the link down below in the description. Their month theme is Artist Trading Cards. Actually, it is Artist Trading Card a day, but um, I thought I'd jump in with just a bunch of Artist Trading Card I make. I like making artist trading cards and I like to swap them so I'm going to show you just what I do for that and uh, as you can see I have already gathered my materials together so here we have the stamps which I'm going to use with the stamping ink I have stays on it's just a permanent ink works fine I do have here the matte medium from liquid text because I'm going to glue down some napkins also I'm going to need the glue later on, which is right here. I'm going to also work with some tool. I'm going to color in with some water soluble uh, colored pencils. Those are from Garandage or Faber Castell, whatever brand you have. It has just to be water soluble. I'm going to work with the water tank brush and I do like to give highlights to the eyes of my ladies. So that's what I use the jelly roll for. I'm going to add those are vintage sample cards from um, laces and borders and things like that. So that's what I'm going to use too. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to make me a little bit of room. And I'm going to start first with the background for my ladies. They're kind of vintage backgrounds. So I thought I'm going to grab sort of a vintage napkin so that's what I found in my stash and I'm gonna start with those I do like the scroll that's here so that's what I'm mainly gonna use and I think I'm gonna cut it along here and there's gonna be a lot of this process in the speed up version so I don't bore you to death. Now because it is napkin I can go right over top. I don't need to have any medium down below because it is so thin it just goes through. So I think you get the idea, so I will be back when I have glued all the napkins to my ATC base. Now my cards are up there to dry, hopefully they are dry until I'm done with um, stamping and coloring. I do use a little bit of fun foam so that I get a good impression, because this time I really want a good impression. I know, most of the time I don't care so much, but again this face is going to be the focal point so I really want them to stand out in a nice manner and by the way that's a leftover mixed media paper nothing special yeah that's the way I like it now I have to think about I have like eight cards but I think I have only six ladies now I'm gonna stamp each one and then decide which I'm gonna stamp again. So I'm gonna stamp several faces and then decide at the end what I want and I think you get the idea by now so you don't have to watch me stamping a whole bunch of ladies face. So when I do cut out I give myself permission to get rid of some pieces who are really fine details. So I 
I don't know whether you can tell, but as you can see, I rather turn the paper than the scissor. It's much easier to fussy cut that way. Just in case you didn't know already. Just in case I mess up something, I do make one more than what I actually need. That's the way I roll a lot of the time. I do more than what I actually need just to be on the safe side, so to speak. That's how I end up with all those bits and bobs which I then use for my random play. Here we go. I think that should do. Now the next step would be, I'm going to color in my ladies a little bit. They are dry. I can use a nail file to get rid of the overhang and at the same time I do distress the edges a little bit which I like and then, then, and then I also gonna go in with some vintage photo around the edges. I go also along the edges of my faces just to hide a little bit the white border you always get when you cut out things. I just don't like that. Okay, my bases are ready. I decided I also want to add a little bit of white going on, so I'm gonna use my primer gesso thingy and I just use the fingers. I just want to go now, I something going on here, and I think I'm gonna switch to a just to lighten it up and I think that pattern for me that pattern is very vintagey because uh, there are a lot of old buildings who have those kind of patterns on their walls I also do have these tool pieces. Um, I'm gonna cut that in smaller sections because I don't need a whole lot of it. I use the tacky glue to attach the tool. In a bunch, I bunch it up a little bit because I don't want it everywhere glued down. I only add a little dot, uh, and I also gonna add a little bit of glue to my ladies. And again, I'm not gonna glue them down com completely, completely. Maybe in some areas like the neck I really would like to have a little bit down, but the rest 
and then I have to hold it for a second or so. And then I have all those thingies here and I try to figure out what I like with it. And as you can see, they won't behave. So I'm going to grab a heavy book and I'm going to put them underneath as soon as I'm done with them. Okay, here are my ladies and in case if you would like to swap, try to contact me. I'm always open for a fun swap. So I'm gonna add some highlights, which you probably can't see, but I just like it. Just a little sparkle in their eyes. And I think I'm also going to add a little bit of a full stitching, just slightly, slightly. And for that I'm actually going to use, that was by the way the 0.7 pin type and now I'm using uh, 0.9 to 0.13 bullet shape. So it gives a little bit of a broader pattern. Mm -hmm. So here we are. I have eight new ATCs, so vintage style, which I really like from time to time. Uh, as usual, they're going to be a close up picture from all the ATCs, so you can see the details, which is kind of hard to see in the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.